Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Miroslav Filip and Stefan Zabo. It was played in Bucharest in 1953. Bucharest is the capital city of Romania. Miroslav Filip had white pieces and he started with d4. Zabo played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit. Declined. Knight to c3, knight to f6, and now knight to f3 is the most popular move in this position. But instead of playing knight to f3 and waiting for black to capture pawn on c4, white captured pawn on d5. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop to g5, pinning knight. Bishop to e7, and pinning. e3, black castled kingside. And white played queen to c2. Let's take it back. Knowing that white wants to play queen to c2, can black play bishop to f5 and beat him to the punch? If bishop to f5 is played, then white would capture knight on f6. Why? Knight was the defender of d5 pawn. The game would continue like this. Bishop takes bishop, queen to b3, forking pawn on b7 and pawn on d5. And after, for example, knight to c6, knight takes pawn on d5. White is a pawn up and black has no compensation for it. That's why black cast at kingside, queen to c2, rook to e8. Knight to f3, knight from b to d7, not knight to c6. Black wants to play pawn to c6. Bishop to d3, queen and bishop are aiming at pawn on h7. Knight to f8, white cast at kingside, c6 supporting pawn on d5, rook from a to b1. What is the purpose of this move? With this move, white is preparing minority attack. Next is, he will push pawn to b4. Black played g6. The reason is, he wanted to protect pawn on h7 and he wants to move knights. The most popular move nowadays in this position is a5. And the game usually continues like this a3, knight to e4, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, b4, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and black rook is on open file. So this is better version for black. In our game we have g6, b4, knight to e6 attacking bishop, Bishop to h4, knight to h5, black wants to get rid of dark squared bishop, so bishop takes bishop, and now black has a choice. He can capture with queen or with rook. He captured with rook. The reason was, he will play rook to c7, opposite white queen. White played knight to a4, allowing black time to play rook to c7. Question is, why not b5 immediately? If b5 black would capture pawn on b5, he would play c5. And after pawn takes pawn, knight takes on c5 attacking bishop. So in the game we have a knight to a4, rook to c7, obviously pawn can't be pushed now, rook from f to c1, Knight from h to g7, queen to b3, developing bishop, attacking bishop, bishop to e8, rook to c3. What is the purpose of this move? White wants to double pawns, sorry. White wants to double rooks on c file, and black too. Both players know 
that pawn will be pushed to b5, pawns will be exchanged, and c file will be open. So rook from a to c8 was played, rook from b to c1, knight to g5, that is knight takes knight, doubling pawns, white captured knight, queen takes on g5, black would really like to attack the king, but his pieces are not well placed for the attack on white king. White played b5, pawn takes pawn, it is white to move and to play a clever move. Please note this is not a killer move, it's a clever one. Black probably thought that white would capture pawn on b5. If bishop takes on b5, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, queen to e7. In the game, white captured pawn with knight on b7. If rook takes knight, then rook takes rook. It's not good for black, is it? So black captured rook on c3, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, queen takes rook. And white has a huge advantage. Queen is in control of c file. She may be coming to c7 or maybe to c8. Black played queen to g4, not only controlling c8, but queen is dreaming of check to d1. And if white is not careful, could be a checkmate. Knight to d6, attacking bishop. Bishop to d7, and now queen to c7, with the idea of queen to d8 check, queen to e7, and attacking pawn on f7. The question is, is it better to capture that pawn on b5? What do you think? Would you capture pawn on b5? If knight takes on b5, then this queen's dream would come true. Black would be winning the game. After bishop to f1, bishop takes knight, and black is winning. So we have queen to c7, knight to h5, and now bishop takes on b5. Can black capture bishop with bishop? He can, but white would not capture bishop. He would go after the king. Then check and checkmate. In this position, instead of taking bishop, queen to d1 check. The only move, bishop to f1, and now queen to a4 defending bishop on d7. Check king to g7, queen to e7, attacking pawn on f7, defending, knight to e8, check, king to g8, and now very clever move, queen to d8, and black must be very careful. For example, if queen to d7 is played, white is winning. Can you see the move? This is the move. Check and knight takes queen. Or for example, if queen goes to c6, then g4, attacking knight. If knight goes to g7, then check mate. Or for example, if instead of knight to g7, bishop takes pawn, knight to f6 is winning bishop. So, in the game, king to f8 was played. Knight to c7, this is a check. King to g7, knight takes bishop, destroying protection around the black king. Queen to e7, check. King to h6, it is white to move and to play a winning move. 
Can you see the winning move for white? g4. Knight to g7. Check. And the only move is knight to h5. Pawn takes knight. g5. I think black could have resigned in this position. Queen takes pawn. Queen takes pawn on e6. Check. King takes pawn on h5. Check. King to g6. Check. And black. Resigned. Let's go back to this position. In this position, b4 was played. Minority attack. So minority attack is an advance of pawns on the side of the board where one has fewer pawns than the opponent. It is usually carried out to provoke a weakness. And it worked well in this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.